hundred thousand pounds. So you've just, you've just, you know, it's one of them ones. Someone's give you a scratch card, you've scratched it off, and bam, you've won a hundred thousand pounds. It's it's unbelievable right now. The the emotions are flying. What do you do? Does do you change? Does that does that change? So I would still act on the first principle. Okay. Mm-hmm. So again, it's not well obviously it's a good sum of money, but you don't want to just quit your day day job and go straight in up to the organs place because it could be a long time before the investment returns to you. So then yeah. Obviously, put strains on relationships. If you're with someone thinking, oh, I can't go out tonight, or we can't go for a meal because all our money's been invested in something else. Yeah. So I'd split it up into quarters, first of all, and put chunks of 25,000 virtually in my head 25,000, 25,000, 25,000, 25,000, uh, where you can actually think about things and say, right, if I put this to Alec because you're doing a project, again, I would be more inclined to invest in someone else for mm-hmm. at this stage. Obviously, you can go for the small purchase of a, a small flip of a property if you wanted. But then I'm thinking about migrating the risks and not putting it all into one chunk. It's yeah. like, right, Alec, here's 25 grand. This is it. Or maybe 50 grand and let's do it together. So I'll bring that money needed for your deal. Um, because we could go into the levels of lending of a senior debt, like crowd property, um, where let's just say we could lend 70% of a purchase price and then 100% of your works. You're going to need that 30% from somewhere. So if you were bringing all amount of money, but I was giving you, say, 50,000 to put towards it as well, and that all was agreed with the purchase price, so it all worked, then that is a great starting point because then yep. you can have an agreement between us all signed saying at the end of this project, it's going to return this. You get your chunk back plus whatever it is uh, as a percentage, and then it's a wow. So obviously, a hundred thousand is a good figure to have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're splitting it up into quarters potentially and diversifying it essentially, so you mitigate risk, right? Correct. Yeah. You just okay. Cool. Go all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Okay, that makes total sense. So you'd go, and and by that you're you're thinking potentially invest with someone else, then then potentially do a JV um, uh, and and things like that. That's what we're saying. Yeah, so yeah, so joint joint ventures, JV, um, is a brilliant thing. But obviously, yeah, traditional lenders hate it because obviously there's more risk for them. Thinking, well, right, we fall out halfway through the project or something like that. What's in play? Um, mm-hmm. You've got that team, and you're all bringing money to the table. So you're doing that joint venture together. It's you're in it together. You've both got money in the deal, so you both yeah. want to succeed. Whereas if you put all the money in the deal, you'd be like, Tom, what you bring it? You've got zero risk in this. If it goes wrong, I'm the one that's basically losing 100K, 50K, or whatever it is. Tom, yeah. you didn't do. So I'd be happy you wouldn't. Be. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's migrating that risk. Okay, cool. Then we're on the next scenario. I'm not sure where this money's come from, but okay, you've, you've, just, you've just won the lottery. You've got to won the lottery at 500K, aren't you? Or the, po- the postcode lottery? Postcode, that's, that's about right, yeah. You've, you've won the postcode. 